Welcome everyone, this is Plugin Fox, and today we are back with another plugin called Deluxe Hub. Deluxe Hub is a great plugin for bungee cord uh, plugins, or bungee cord hubs, where you're able to just kind of have one plugin to do everything in the hub for you. You can have it pretty much send people to servers, you can have it do like launch pads, double jump, holograms, tab list, um, anti-world downloader, all that stuff, all in just one plugin. So let's get started. All right, we are in my server now. So mine will look a little bit different than yours because I'm using AMP. So all we have to do is drag and drop in there and let's wake up the server. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna download pretty much the server for, or the plugin for you. Um, and then while we're waiting, let's just talk about so I do have a Discord channel if you guys want to join. Um, it's in the description below, or you can find it on the front page of my channel page. Uh, this server is mainly to help people with plugins or to kind of figure out new plugins or just want to be there to help other people with plugins. So if you have any interest, you can go ahead and join the server below. Otherwise, well, let's get back into the server. So. We are going to go to file conf or whoops sorry I'm gonna go to plugins deluxe hub we're just gonna start out with the config folder I am going to copy and paste this onto notepad because it's easier to read for you guys so all of this is just basically one thing so deluxe hub three. Uh, you can do built-in plugin placeholders, so the player's name, the location, or which server they're on, online, max online, so like how many players are online, uh, general settings, so this is default world, so you can set the default world, um, if you want nether, all that stuff, anti-world downloader, this is a good one if you don't want people downloading your hub. Uh, it will also notify your admin if you have the permission here for it, so that it allows them to know if someone's trying to download it. Scoreboard. Scoreboard is kind of the side feature that you're able to, like, tell the player's name, uh, what rank they are, all that stuff. It's super simple and easy, so you can do, like, oh, this is the this server with this rank, uh, what time of day it is, any of that stuff. Tab list is everything you see at the top. As I said, I'm going to go through a lot of this once I get into the game as well. Uh, this just allows you to change everything, like how they view everyone on the server. Auto bro broadcast, so you can broadcast a message every like 10 minutes if you want, or every 60 seconds. So this one's set to 60 seconds. I'm going to turn this off so we don't have to see it, but um, it'll be like, pretty much it just says everything that you want to say, so like, oh, this is the server, please join this, or this is our website, this is our Discord, any of that stuff you can put in it. It just allows people to get more information, kind of just like an automated message system. Launch pads, you can do launch pads, you can set the power of the launch pads, um, yeah, and that's pretty much... And then you can set what block it is to use. Double jump. So you're allowed to do double jump. You can set, like, the cooldown timer. So it's set to three seconds. Um, how high they can jump. The sound when they jump. All that stuff. Then you can do, like, blocked commands. So slash PL or plugins is blocked. Bucket. All that stuff. Version is blocked. You can do anti-swear, so you can't say certain words. World events, so you can do like disable hunger loss, fall damage, PvP, void death, fire damage, drowning, or disable off the hand or offhand weapons, weather, all that stuff. This is just a good area to be if say you want to do something a little bit different with your server you would pretty much come here with everything else so say if you want them to take fall damage they can or I don't know it just allows players to do whatever they are allows you to kind of choose and pick what players 
are able to take damage and not all that stuff so this is the player join event so this is this will show up every time a player joins so this will welcome you to a server it'll give you a website the store you can put a discord if you want or you can just change this all together and make something completely brand new uh, you can get rid of all this stuff if you need to, but uh, this is a great option to do it so when players join, they have at least something welcome message. You can also do it so when they join, they have fireworks going off. So fireworks on join, you can set enable that. Um, teleport on join, all that stuff. Heal, extinguish. You can also do custom join stuff, so like inventory, um, commands, so you can do like a message, this information from this server, by Discord, all that stuff. And then you have your server selector, which this will allow your players to manage every other server they're going to, so this will link up with your bungee cord server. So if you have a survival world or if you have anything else particular like um, creative or skyblock or any of that stuff, you can have like a certain icon and then they can just click it and go straight to it. So it's really nice, simple, and easy. And then the last one is the player hider hiding feature, which allows players to hide other players if they're lagging and all that stuff. You can do a cooldown for that so they can't activate it for 3 seconds. Um, and that's pretty much it for this one. So let's go back and do the other one really quick, and I'll show you the one that does the server compass pretty much that allows them to join the menu. Alright, we are back now again with the other one. So this is the server selector. So you can pretty much pick whatever you want. So this is gray glass panes that will fill in everything. Then you'll have factions, which is TNT. You can pick which slot it's in, so it's going to be slot 11 in the actual bar itself. Uh, it goes pretty much all the way across the bar, and then goes back down all the way across again, and then you can kind of keep going with that. As I said, I'll show you kind of all that once we get in the game. And then survival is like the same way. You can do grass block, 15. You can make it glow or not glow. You can enable the name what's the lore of it so you can say join now multiplayer all this stuff and then you can do like the message that it's sending it to and then if you're doing bungee cord which you kind of have to with this plugin as well uh you put the bungee and then whatever the server name is so that's kind of a little bit of that and then let's do one more all right last config file that we're going to go through for right now so you can do custom commands as well in this so you can do gms gmc gma gmsp player chat fly lock chat set lobby lobby vanish all that stuff and then you can also make your own commands below if you want to as well all right well, let's get in the game now and let's begin all right guys we are in the game so as you can see so if i do game mode c you can just do that um so now you can see there's a bunch of different things in my hotbar. I'm going to get rid of the other stuff that we don't need. So then we have the book. So if you right click the book, you will see that you have your server information. So we'll do the website, store, and Discord page. But as you can see right here, uh, this is the welcome message it will give you. Welcome Eskos to the server. Here's the website, the store, and the Discord page. And you can always change all of this stuff later. Um, then we have the shown and not shown players, so if I had anyone online, players are not visible anymore, so people can't see that, but I can enable it again. There's the announcements, so rate this uh, 5 stars on Spiga if you want to. Um, this is something you can do differently, so you can do like announcements, oh here's my Discord page, something like that. But um, that will go off constantly. This is the uh, scoreboard, so you can pretty much do player, here's the player name, the rank of the player, so we don't have a ranking system, so it's going to be empty. If you wanted to do um, Lucky Perm, you could do that as well. That will integrate with this system. And then at the top there, at the tab list, you can see the players, the website, and the store again. 
So that's all great and dandy. So let's go into the uh, server selector. As I said, you can change this to be whatever you want it to be. And as you can see here, there's the factions and the survival. So you can click on these. It'll say sending a faction. It will also air out because I don't actually have a faction server. So yeah. All right, let's start doing a couple commands here really quick. So some of the better commands to do is slash, let's do slash lobby. Or sorry, slash set lobby. There we go. So now if I die, we will spawn directly where the lobby is. So that will set the world lobby for um, Deluxe Hub. And that will pretty much override anything else. So just be aware of that. So if you set your world lobby, that will override your set lobby from in-game. So, so let's do lock chat. So I have locked global chat. So now the only one that's able to talk is me. I don't have anyone else on the server. But if there was anyone else on the server since I'm off technically, uh, I could bypass it. But if anyone else was on the server, it would not work. They could not talk at all. So let's unlock it. We can do clear chat. And then chat has been cleared. We can do slash fly which I'm already flying because I'm operator, but you can see I'm going to fall because I'm not flying anymore. And you can do vanish. So I'm in vanish mode, and I can also get out of vanish as well. Alright. Give me one second here, and then we're going to go into the other two with the holograms, and we can do the uh, everything else. Alright, last but not least, we're going to go over the last two, which is the jump pads and the um, holograms. So if we go here and put a redstone block down and put a stone plate on it, you'll see it's a jump pad now. And you can change this to whatever you want to be. And also, if I take my GMC off and just do GMS, you can see uh, that once in a while it will do like an actual um, launching yourself. So like it'll do a double jump launch, which is fine. Alright, so let's get into the plugin of holograms. So if we do deluxe... Um, uh, I think it's hollow. Yeah, it's hologram. So hollow ram. You can see that you can move it, braid it, set lines, all that stuff. So if we do deluxe hub hologram, uh, add one. So we just added one to it. So now if we just do add line one and say test Oop, I did something wrong oh sorry I forgot to create there we go create one so we just created one so now you can see the holograms there and color coordination or the color codes do work on this so if I do Hologram one, or add line one, and then do at or do um, and let's do four for red test. So now you can see it added one line and it added test. So you can also remove it. So if I go to remove line. If I just do remove line one 
past. Whoops. There we go. So if I did remove whatever the name is, and then what line it is. So I remove line three, so I remove test. So that's kind of everything to know about Hol or Deluxe Hub 3. So if you guys have any questions, put them in the comment section. I would be willing to help you out. You can also join the Discord, as I said, to learn more about plugins and to kind of understand stuff a little bit better. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great rest of your day.